hello and welcome to this excel tutorial in this excel video i'm going to show us why the new choose rows function is better and faster than the old choose function so let's get started now the choose rows function is available in m365 excel and let's see why i prefer it compared to the old choose function now, based on our data set, we have the column date in column A. Now, in column B, we have the account manager's ID. By the way, we have 1 to 14 unique account manager's ID representing each of our account manager. Now, in column C, I'm going to deploy the choose function to choose each of the unique account manager's name in column F based on the index number in column B. And in column D, we're going to use the new choose rows function to choose each of the unique account manager in column f based on the account manager's id in column b then we're going to compare which one is faster and better between the two so let's get started now in column c i will deploy equal sign choose function now the choose function requires the index number so i give the unique account manager's id in cell b2 or I can even do Ctrl Shift down arrow key to select the account managers downward, then Ctrl backspace to go back up, comma. Now for the value one, I need to choose each of these account managers name in column F, and that's the downside to the choose function. But let's do that. So I'm going to click on F2, comma, and cell F3. By the way, I'm going to speed things up and jump to F15. See you in a moment. We have F2, F3 to F15, which is quite time consuming. Anyway, I'm going to absolute this reference to F4 key on the keyboard, and then I can close the choose formula. And of course, we can control enter, then we have the result. Okay, so it's spilled to the neighboring rows at the bottom now it took a long time and if you see the formula here we can see that it's quite long and the length of the formula is 93 character which is quite long okay now let's use the choose rows function and see how fast it is so equal sign choose rows now for the array that is what we want to return now i want to return all this list of unique account managers name so i'm going to f4 key to make it absolute comma now for the row number that is how many rows i want to move down that will be dependent on the account managers id in column b so Control shift down arrow key Control backspace and that's all i can close the formula and control enter bam so we have the account managers now if you check this formula for the choose rows you can see that we only have 32 character in length but for the choose function we have a huge 93 character in length which means it takes us much longer to type the input value for the choose function compared to the new choose row and that is why i love the choose rows function than the old choose function now let me just give us a bonus trick here okay now you can use the index function to achieve the same result so let me just call this one index now for the index i can type in index function and the array just like the choose rows i need to give all these unique account managers name i can press f4 key to make it absolute comma for the row number that i want to move down i want to give all the account manager id in column b Control shift down arrow key Control backspace to go back up close the formula and Control enter wow we have the same result okay so the index formula is more faster just like the choose rows but the choose function is quite longer to type because we have to give value one two and so on to value um i think that should be value 15 okay value 
14 so this is old school and i do not like this but i prefer the new school which is the choose row it, it can say just a few cell reference and that's all so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like and comment and share this video thank you and bye for now cheers